Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS add-on programming. In this video, we will discuss about the lesson to create an analysis flag which is called ANL01FL. So this flag is being used to create or identify a particular record which is used for analysis when there exists multiple records within an analysis visit. And the algorithm that is being used is that the record which is closest to the target A and if there exists more than one record to the closest to the target day, we will be using the latest record for analysis in a particular Adam data set. So this video is part of the Adam BDS programming creation of analysis flags. Uh, the complete code and the input data for this can be obtained from the link provided in the video description. So now we will see the background for this example analysis flag that we are going to create. So in the analysis of clinical trial data, we often summarize the data at each analysis visit as shown in the screenshot below. So we are trying to summarize a numeric variable in terms of n, mean, standard deviation and similarly for change from baseline across all analysis visits. So the n in the above table represents the number of subjects with non-missing result at that visit say for example if we take this xx at and the n column at week 2 this represents the number of subjects with a non-missing result at week 2 for result variable so sometimes there will be multiple records for the same subject and parameter at that analysis visit in the analysis data which means there can be more than one record within week two for the for a subject for that parameter that we are analyzing so for these tables we need to use only one of those multiple records for analysis so what do we do so we have multiple records we need to use only one of them for this week two analysis for these kind of tables so we need a way to clearly identify which record will be used for analysis in these tables as the existing standard variables like u sub cd param cd and a visit are not sufficient to identify the record for analysis because there are multiple records with the same value in these variables because the subject will be same param cd will be same a visit will be same only the result may also be the same or it will be different Sometimes what can happen is like the dates may differ or the dates can be same or the times on a particular date can differ or uh, will be the same. But we need a clear algorithm on how to identify the record that is to be used for analysis. And one approach is to create an additional variable and populate it with a meaningful value to indicate that a specific record is used for analysis. The algorithm on which of those multiple records should be pre-specified in the statistical analysis plan. So when there exist multiple records, which record has to be used for the analysis has to be pre-specified in the statistical analysis plan of the study. So some common algorithms that are used in the statistical analysis plans of any live studies is so we may be asked to use the earliest of those records when there exist multiple records within that visit. Sometimes we may be asked to use the latest record within that visit. Sometimes we may be asked to use the closest record to the target day within that visit. And sometimes algorithms may go much beyond and ask us to create a new record containing the average result of all the available records in that visit and then use that average record for analysis so these algorithms i have given as examples but it can vary from study to study so how does adam handle this implementation so cdisk adam standard allows us to handle such scenarios using a set of variables called analysis flags so these are generically called as anl zz fl series variables the lowercase letter zz in the variable name anl zz fl is an index for the Z variable where ZZ is replaced with a zero padded two digit integer which means we can replace the ZZ with 0 1 to 99 any number in between so if we have a requirement for a, an additional analysis flag we can create 0 1 FL and 0 2 FL 
and there is a rule that it need not it need not be that you will have to create anl01 fl if you are trying to create anl02 fl first so you can choose any number of uh, any number for that zz series so for example here in this case we were discussing about the creation of anl01 fl but you can in fact name it as anl98 fl so it is up to you but there has to be some similarities within the study across different data sets if you are using an analysis flag for a same concept so these analysis flags should only be used when the other existing standard variables are not sufficient to filter the records for analysis so you should not replace the any existing standard variables with an analysis flag for filtering the records say for example if you want to pick a record for week 2 you can actually use your uh, a visit variable and if you want to pick a specific parameter you should be able to do that with param cd variable you should not try to replace any of the standard variable filter logics and just replace it with an analysis flag in the above case as the existing standard variables are not sufficient we can create an analysis flag named anl01fl and populate it with y on the records used for analysis now let us take a look at the input data that we will be using for this example so as we are trying to demonstrate the creation of an analysis flag the input data set i have used is an intermediate adam data set where i have already derived the param cd param paramen a visit and a visit and the analysis date and study day and also the result variable and also the windowing related variables aw target aw low aw high and aw u so and along with that i have also fetched treatment star date and kept it because i was creating ady variable using adt and drt sdt now let us try to manually Uh, let us move on to the specification and see what it has to say with the variables which we are going to derive the two variable that we require to handle this scenario are awt diff which is a standard adam variable again so the variable label for this variable is analysis window difference from target so the derivation logic says set to the absolute difference between ady and aw target that is we are using making use of the abs function of sas and then we are uh, also taking the difference of ady and aw target and whatever is the difference even if it is a negative value we are converting it into a positive number by using absolute function abs function so this is what the derivation for awt diff and then for anl01 fl the label for it is analysis flag 01 and it says the derivation says set to y on the record which is closest to the target day within an analysis visit and if there exists multiple records which are closest say for example if there exists two records on uh, which differ only by one day from the target day and then in that cases we are being asked to pick the latest record with having seen the specification let's now move on to the form output wherein we manually try to identify the analysis flag variable and also let us try to pull, fill in the information for awt for one subject so here we have data for two subjects for systolic blood pressure we will try to manually identify the analysis flag for first subject so first let us try to populate awt diff so we will be populating it only on the cases where we have our a visit populated so for week 1 the collection happened on day 8 and the target day was 7 so ady minus aw target 8 minus 7 is 1 so and we were also using absolute function so as this number is a positive number so the difference was 8 minus 7 it would result in a positive number and again here on the second record uh, for week 2 what is what do we have the ady is 15 and aw target is 14 so 15 minus 14 is plus 1 so we'll keep it that way and then another record is there for week 2 which is collected on day 16 and the target day was 14 so 16 minus 14 the target day is awt diff is 2 so and then we have week 3 we have three records for week 3 on the first record of week 3 it was collected on day 20 
and the target day was 21. 20 minus 21 would return minus 1 but we were supposed to use the absolute value. Absolute value of minus 1 is 1 so we are keeping it as 1 again here and then the second, for, second record for week 3 it was collected on day 22 and the target was 21. 22 minus 1 it is 1 so we are keeping it as is. 23 or for the third instance of week 3 and 23 minus 21 is 2 so we'll populate it with the difference 2 and then similarly for week 4 the collection happened on day 29 and the target day was 28 so the difference is 1 so we'll populate it and then again for week 5 the collection happened on day 36 but the target day was 35 so let us populate the difference which was seen as 1 so now let us try to populate our analysis flag. So within an analysis visit, we need to check whether there exists only one record or multiple records. So if there exists multiple records, we will have to employ the algorithm given, which is the closest to the target day and the latest within that. And then if it exists only, there exists only one record within an analysis visit, we can directly populate it as Y. So for week one, there is only one record. So this record, will directly be used for analysis and for week two there are two records so in this case we need to see which record is closest to the target day so we have to see the awt diff to see how far it is from the target day so on the first record it is one day away from the target day and the second record is two days away from the so which is the closest record the record which has a awt diff of 1 is closest so we will have to flag analysis flag as y on that record as the second record is not meeting the existing condition or the specification condition we cannot populate it as y because out of the two records for week 2 we are choosing the closest record and now let us move on to week 3 there are three records so of these three records we need to check which record is closest so we have two records with the, which are one day up, uh, far from the target day and the third record is from the third record is two days far from the target day so we have two records which are closest to the target day so one is collected on day 20 and the next one is collected on 22 and the target day was 21 so if we see this is collected one day prior and this is collected one day after so out of these two records which one is latest so there are two records which are closest to the target day when there exists such records we were asked to use the latest record what is the latest record of these two so it will be 22nd study day so this record will be used for analysis so and then we will move on to week 4 there exists only one record so this can be flagged as y directly and for week 5 again so we only have one record so this can be flagged as y for analysis now we have made sure that we only have apart from the standard filter conditions of subject param or param cd and the a visit so now we can make use of anl01 fl so which would be populated only once irrespective of the number of records present in a particular visit so for week one we only had it once week two though there were two records we have identified the record which will be used for analysis similarly for week three though there were three records we have clearly identified a record which needs to be used for analysis based on the description provided in the statistical plan and the specification and for week 5 there is one record so if we now filter for records with nl01 fl is equal to y there will be only one record per subject per parameter and visit so which is the requirement for our table creation so this is how we have manually identified the analysis flag now let us try to see the programming that can be used to create this analysis flag so first we will have to create our awt diff variable we had our ady derived or given in the input data set and we also have our aw target so i am checking whether both the values are present and then if both the values are present then i am creating awt diff 
so as a dy minus a w target and applying absolute function on it so even when there exists like negative values here abs function would convert it into positive numbers and then the key to your identifying the records is this by statement in the proxot step so here within a subject parameter and a visit i am using awt diff in the ascending manner so what happens so when there exists more than one record within the visit the record with the lowest awt diff value comes on top and we were asked to use the latest record when there exists more than one record which is closest so in that case so i am making use of descending ady so that the record which is having a highest value in ady comes on top within that closest difference records so after that i am applying my first dot a visited so within a visit the closest difference records comes on top and if there exists more than one record with the closest difference the ady with the highest value will be on top with this sort order so that record will be used for flagging our nl01 fl so if first dot a visited and we are populating the analysis flag only on the instances where a visited is not missing so the key step here is how you order your records with the proxot step so this is how we can create analysis flag when we need one in the adam data sets so let us now take a look at the intermediate data sets that are getting created so there is there weren't many intermediate data sets that were getting created in vs01 we have created awt diff and then i have used the same data set in the proxot without any out is equal to option so the sort order is also getting changed within this data set itself so here if we take a look at week 2 so we have sorted the records in such a way that the subject parameter within a visit so we have given preference for awt diff so the record with a lower value in awt diff comes on top so we have awt diff 1 while record coming on top within the subject and parameter and visit and then if we examine week 3 records so it will be clear so we were sorting the records based on subject parameter visit awt diff and descending ady so if we now see so there were two records with awt diff of 1 and within these two records which record is needed on top if we are using first dot visit to filter or apply the flag so it is like the latest record so we have brought the latest record to the top by using descending ady so there were two records with the same value in awt awt diff so after that we have used descending ady so what happened the record with the highest value in ady has come on to the top and after that we used if first dot visit and where a visit and is not is equal to missing then we have populated the analysis flag on that record so this is how we can manually and programmatically create an analysis flag to select multiple records within an analysis visit with the algorithm of closest and latest record so even if we had some other algorithm like closest and earliest the only thing that changes in the code is how you sort your records so this is how you can complete the analysis flags creation in your adam dataset thanks for watching keep learning